I got into the blues, man, I was uh, about seven years old. See, here's a long story to tell you how I got into the blues, but I'm going to tell you anyway. See, my grandmother, she used to have what you call jukes at her house, and she used to have these guys to come over and play for uh, called the Duck Brothers, who used to live in this area. And a lot of white people would hang out. I didn't use the color, but to try and get my story together. And used to hang out at my grandmother's house because she was the only one on that plantation was allowed to have jokes and things before I lived. And so this band, the Duck Brothers, was playing that one Saturday night evening. And said so my mother, she was about 14 years old at the time, this guy was telling Mr. Duck. So she came over, whispered, leaning you know, over, whispering in his ear. And said, one day I sure hope I have a son or daughter that can play the blues like you, you know, like y'all can. So, so I said, that's what helped brought me on. That was her wish and her prayer that she wanted her son and daughter to play the blues. So I often tell my well, here I am doing the best I can with it, you know, yeah. So that's how I got up to it, man. I started when I was seven years old with Balaam, why I didn't have no money to buy a guitar. But I seen my first cousin, my dad, he used to try to play my first cousin. Little by he used to try to play the guitar. Then I seen another old gentleman came through playing the guitar, playing the more blue on the guitar. And then something just hit me, man, when I was seven years old. I couldn't hardly sleep at night. I just wanted to play the guitar. I wanted to play a guitar. I wanted to play the blue. I wanted to play the blue. So I made my first guitar out of bailing wire, which you wrap around hay. Now why wrap around hay? And one string of that, then that wire would be wrapped around the most sweet room. I had two strings, laid upside the house, and that's where I started. Then later on, back then, you had to be on inside the house before the sun go down. That was the, the rule, you little boy. So, and I made one on a little two by four, same string, so I can move on inside the house at night and pluck it till they make me go to bed, you know, try to find a way to make it talk. So that's how I got in it, man. I've been playing your man all. Uh, I've been playing 12, 13 years. I've been playing on Sunday evening, about 12, 13 years, yeah. Any, anytime I'm in town, that's where I'll be on Sunday evening, when I'm at home, jumping at Betty. At first, we didn't have too many people coming out. I just played. It was a place that gave me an opportunity to play. And I was wanting to play, and it gave me an opportunity. And we just started playing there, big Sunday evenings. You know, a lot of people be out cruising around on Sunday evening. So we just picked Sunday evening after the church service and everything is over. And we just go out there, you know, play a little music and who she ever will. We'll let, let them come on and enjoy it. Then it just started growing. And all of a sudden, people it just started getting a little bigger and a little bigger, more people. So word got out. First thing I know, people there from Germany. First thing I know, people there from Sweden taking pictures. Next thing I knew, Mark Scorsese crew was there. You know, just, just happened. 
nothing that was planned. time I get to play my music, get it feeling good, see other people feeling good, and then, then I get it feeling good, then that spirit come into me. Sometimes I might be sitting down, man, just jump up all at once. Find myself all out on the floor, crawling. Not that I'm trying to put on no show or nothing, but I'm just feeling good. That's the way I got to express my feeling, that I'm feeling good, you know. Yeah. And, man, it's hard to beat that feeling, man, when you can't beat it. You feel, ooh, Lord, how much, man. Mm. Even when this body gone, I'm going to live. 
because I'm working and preparing myself now to live in that spirit. riding this way. We want to first welcome, give everybody a welcome and we really appreciate everybody's thoughts of coming to Freedom Creek and we really appreciate it. And just keep an open mind. We're here for love, for peace. We're trying to bring people together, to work together, to help each other out, to wash one another's feet. And, and this is what we're all about. Come, just be yourself. We're not coming to no fancy place coming out in the woods, down in the path, but this is what it's all about, at least it's for real. We're coming to be for real. We're not coming to fake, or what you see is gonna be what you get. But we come to have a good time, to enjoy each other, have a good time, sit back, and hope we all get good thoughts from this. When we return back to our homeland, we have some good thoughts, that's what we can do, to help someone else to feel good, what we can do to help each other. Come on down to the creek, and this is going to be the real baptizing. Yeah. Stop your trouble.
little bit back. Do y'all know about the spoon food? Do you know this thing about it? I'm gonna leave it. Now look at here.